Hello everybody, welcome again to the kinematics and dynamics of machinery course. After looking into the velocity image that can be used in the analysis, now we want to look into the velocity analysis of the mechanism that has the coincident point. In this segment, we will start with the concept of the coincident point. First of all, what is the coincident point in the mechanism? In the slide, the point A at here is the example of the coincident point. The point A at here belongs to the link number 2 and belongs to link number 3. Link number 3 can move in the sliding motion respect to link number 2. However, link number 2 can also rotate. So, a point is called as the coincident point if that point is located in the slider that can move relative to another link that can also rotate. If you find the coincident point, the first thing you have to do is to determine the path of the point respect to another link. For example, we want to know the path of the relative velocity VA3A2. That is the relative velocity of the point A3 with the respect to the link number 2. We assume link number 2 as the stationary link and imagine the movement of the link number 3 respect to the stationary link. So, the path of the relative velocity VA3A2 is parallel to the link number 2. But, we don't know the part of the direction of VA2A3. We assume link number 3 is in the stationary and link number 2 move relative to the link number 3. However, we cannot decide the exact direction of that movement. That's why we don't know the direction of VA2A3. So, after we know the part of VA3A2, we can write down the equation become like this. VA3A2 is VA3 minus VA2. If we reorder the equation, we can get VA3 is VA2 plus VA3A2. Let me give you another example by this mechanism. In this mechanism, the point C at here belongs to the link number 2, 3, and 4. We want to identify the part of the relative motion. The relative motion of one point with respect to another link is the possible motion of the point if another link is considered stationary. Next, we see the connection of link number 2 and link number 3. Link number 2 and link number 3 is connected by the pin join. So the point C at here is the instant center of I23. And at this point, the velocity of the link number 2 and 3 is same. Now, we pay attention to the relative velocity between link number 3 and link number 4. There are Vc4c3 and Vc3c4. We must identify the part first. First, we look into the relative velocity Vc4c3. At here, link number 3 is considered as the stationary link. And how is the direction of the link number 4? We cannot identify it because the link number 4 can move translational and also rotational. But it is not happen if we look into the relative velocity Vc3C4. At here, link number 4 is considered as the stationary link. So, the link number 3 the, or the slider here can move sliding respect to the link number 4. So, the part of Vc3C4 is parallel to the link number 4. So, we already decided the part of the Vc3C4 can be identified that is parallel to the link number 4. So, we can use this relative velocity in the analysis. We know that Vc3C4 is Vc3 minus Vc4. And we arrange the equation become this. Vc3 is Vc4 plus Vc3C4. We use this equation later as our guide in constructing the velocity polygon in the next segment. I think it's enough for this segment. Thank you and see you again.